Hello, I had a uh, request if I could do a bass breakdown, <coughs> excuse me, of Love Me Like a Reptile by Motorhead. Fantastic, fantastic track of the Ace of Spades album. Um, been a while since I've done all these, so why the devil not? Um, Love Me Like a Reptile. It's the riff E C, basically. Let's go through it. What's happening? As, I'll, I'll, as an aside, but it's just it's one of the ones that when they played it later on, it was it's never right for me. It needed filthy animal. Mickey D, though, being the best drummer in the world, as Lemmy called him, and who am I to disagree? But he, because the way he just, he just batters it, it, it missed filthy's little tss, 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 sort of things. That's just an opinion. Hope you can hear this. Stop it. Right, so it's an A. Bow down, 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 down. Seventh fret on the D. Well, if you want to be really flash, you can do the chord. Seventh fret on the D. Ninth fret on the G. If you're using the third or the fourth finger. We can hit all three strings. Um, or just a single. The the uh, the riff then is uh, seventh. Let's just do the riff. Seventh, fifth, seventh, five, fifth, fourth, fifth. That's oh, right. Oh yeah. And then fourth fret on the G. Fifth fret on the D. So let's slow it right down. Alternate picking up and down, or oh, well, down there, but and then and I find once it picks up on speed, it's almost uh, instinct instinctual. Is that even a word? Instinctive <laughs> to do uh, a little, just a little bend there. Again, that's what I'm saying about Filthy's little tss tss thing. Is a lot of Little space, I don't know how to go. Space filling or something on. There's that little bit there, just sort of. There's a lot of that with um, the, the so called classic lineup. The little. When people say motor, you know, fast and brutally loud, and they think, oh, yes, but there was a lot of little things going on. <laughs> Gets a song underway, and then it goes to the vocals. Um, so it's quite bass, bass predominant in this song during the, the verses. <laughs> I think Freddie's <laughs> Freddie <laughs> Eddie is <laughs> no, it's been a long day. Is palm muting. And then he, he I mean I know this is a bass tutorial, but on the guitar bit he sort of he does a riff louder there, but on, anyway on the new on the um the bass is quite up. Which was uh, was it Vic Vic Mel, the, the motorhead producer, is one of his traits was to really bring Lemmy's bass up. You hear it a lot on like Dirty Love as well. But yeah, so basically there's a That's a sort of it's just it skips along with the drums, so to speak. Probably the first time I've ever said that about a motorhead track skips along with the drums, but Down to the E with seventh fret on the A. Light to 
at you, body is way. Just the approach note there to break it up. Um, so, I mean, I talk with them. Sound like that on the guitar. But, you know, maybe would have argued his singing, so just the one note is enough for him. Say the nice seventh fret on the A string. And yeah, that the A is based with basically. But it's all... oh gosh, not my can of coke. Frankly, it's empty. So that's the uh, light to urge you, whatever it is, body sway or strain or something. I've got no choice. I'm going to twist your tail. He said, I read once in an interview, he said he wrote the lyrics for this on the back of a cigarette packet in a bath. And someone said to him, how do you love a reptile? And he said, carefully. <laughs> and he would have probably known. Love me like a reptile. Third fret on the A. Like a reptile. Oh, but you know what I just did there? I'm not going to edit the video. It takes more internet technological savvy than I've got. I'm just recording this to my phone, so ignore what I just did there. Right, third fret on the A. Love me like a reptile. So yes, I love it. So love me reptile. Third fret on the A string. The only thing, I mean, because just because it's quite, uh, there's three different positions, so to speak. Uh, this might be by the by, you can do the octave. Put your fifth, uh, fifth fret, little finger. Put your pinky on the fifth fret on the G. Do that, and then so you're blocking off the E with the top of the first finger. And the first finger there, um, choking the D as well. I saw him do it live. And he did that. That was a lemmy trick. Like to thicken the sound, he'd do octaves a lot. The reptile. So he could, he, um, like when he, it was, I think it was a bit too high for him, he, he sang it differently. Love me like a reptile. But I love that. I love this song so much on off the album. Love me like a reptile. That's great. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Kind of, I bet I'll go too mental because it's kind of to eight o'clock and there's neighbours upstairs. So. Repeats. Murder in disguise. Black Mamba, murder in disguise. It's a solo, yeah, man. Riff drops out. Didn't you hear Vic Mail thing there? Murder in disguise, black man, murder in disguise. And here he's. Uh, there's no riff, it's just, just on the A. Then it. Chords, which I showed at the beginning, so again for the A, 7th fret on the D, ninth fret on the G. He practices, uh, and he does the approach going back up, but he, um, he sticks in the middle note. Slow it down a bit. And again, playing around with the beat, so it's kind of, it's quite loose. As well as being really tight. If ever you hear the, uh, when they break down the, 
it might have had the bronze years a documentary they're going for the ace of spades album it's got interviews with slash and all these celebs saying what ace of spades went to them and yeah lemmy and filthy filler in the studio and uh they turn off like various instruments and sometimes you just hear the bass and the drums and you realize how tight they were <laughs> solo it goes straight to it misses out the E so it goes straight to the C then back to the let's play along for a bit bass and drums back to the chords that's to a fade out isn't it so uh, so first of all starts on So it's kind of like a side idea. It's building up, building up. Then it goes to this thing. Chords A, G, G sharp. Um, if you're not used to doing chords, this would be a bit of a mission, so maybe do a single note, 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, I'll slow it down a bit. You have to play around with the fingering, nothing depends how big your hands are and what scale your bass is and stuff. I'll switch sometimes between little finger and third finger. Or slide the first up, but whereas before I had the fourth. But that sort of stuff comes with, um, I say something weirdly odd and vague. It comes with just playing. It's not something we'd be taught. It's instinctive. Like so, by which I mean, for example, if I'm going, and I know at that point I want to switch to a chord, I'm going to instinctively put my first finger there because I can hit the. Thing there, which I can't do. Obviously, I'm playing my fourth. Well, I could just be like really odd, wouldn't it? So. Then, because it's lower down, the frets are wide. I'm switch to my little finger, and that's how. It... There's a. I can't find it on YouTube, but anything was about thirty years ago <laughs> when I was young. Um, I had a, a CD live and loud. It was called Motorhead, and there was a there was a version of them doing this as a sound check. I'd be like a reptile. It came wicked at the end. It was like it was just, wah, 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 all stuff over the top of it, just lemmy noises. But it was fantastic. It was a, it was like a yeah. They just oh, they, they, it was it was really rough. They obviously just put it together at sound check. You know, so they write a lot of tr of tracks at sound check because they just had no time and they had to get a new album out all the time or well, certainly in the first few years so they just have to write on the road so to speak on the road um so motorhead love me like a reptile um any other suggestions 
stuff that gives me like material to upload or what <laughs> gives me something to do I don't know a video to make so yeah it's all good stuff um, any questions or anything um, as always hit me up in the comments cheers <laughs>